Hi, hello, it's me, I'm back again. My name is Marina, I'm 58 and I live in Sweden. Uh, I am a lover of colorful makeup. Uh, I love all things color, so that's kind of my life. So if you like that, please hang around. Um, I am going to do my first ever ranking video. I have never ranked anything when it comes to my makeup ever. Uh, and I had in my head that I will never do that because I just can't. <laughs> um, I've seen other people do it, of course, they do it all the time. Uh, and I feel that it, it, it looks so, so difficult. And I love all my makeup, otherwise I wouldn't have it. Of course, there are things that you like more than others and the other way around. Um, but I just don't want to um, rank them because I love them all. But uh, I have uh, gotten the whole series of BH Cosmetics um, birthstone collection. And I said that I will do something at the end of the year or when I have all 12. Uh, and in my head I was thinking kind of doing a look using or not all of them. I think it's impossible to use 12 colors on your eyes, at least for me. <laughs> or we'll just do some palette bingo or whatever. Um, but so, uh, several of you asked for a ranking video, so I will try to do that. And it was so, so hard. My daughter had to help me. <laughs> um, so we, we just put all the palettes on the kitchen table and went through them and talked them over. And she said what she think, she haven't used them of course, but color wise what she thinks about them and what she thinks um, according to me and my makeup aesthetics and things like that. Um, and I think I will do some kind of combined look later on with all of these palettes or use a lot of them in uh, the same look. But for now it's a ranking video. And I am not go going to rank them for their quality because I think that would be unfair. Uh, firstly, I have most of these palettes I have only used once, a few of them twice. Um, but mostly once and I don't think you can judge the quality of only one use uh, that's not fair I think and overall they are really great quality anyhow all of them there is no one in here that is bad in and I haven't well maybe there's one that I not that satisfied with the quality of the shadows but I think that can also be me I don't know I so as I said I only tried it once um yeah so i have them all in front of me here um i will start at the bottom and the first one that i have put on the 12th spot is opal for october the color story looks like this and they are really beautiful colors but they're t far too bright for me. I cannot do a look with only these and feel satisfied afterwards. That's impossible for me. So this one is to me a companion palette. I will use them to get use this one together with one of the other ones. If I need a color that I feel that I suddenly need a pink one that is not in the other palette, I will use it. So this is the one I like the least, and that is purely color story. As I said, quality, everything is fine with all of these palettes. On the 11th spot is Pearl for June. And it's the same as the, for the 12th one. It's the color story. It's pretty, but I am not the person who reaches for nudes that very often, very seldom fuck, fuck this. <laughs> that was Swedish, actually very seldom. 
so even I think I did a really pretty look with this one. Um, but I'm not a nude person and this is too nude for me. So this is also going to be a companion palette. And then on the 10th spot is Ruby by um, July. Um, and it looks like this. Colorful and pretty. Yes. But I did a look with this one and I wasn't satisfied at all. And I don't know if it was me or I used the wrong base or it's quite a while ago since this is July so it was this summer. Um, or what, what it is. And it also according to me and how I want my looks it's this is the darkest one and I don't think it's dark enough oh I forgot to say also that all the palettes have one pressed glitter in them in them so in this one it's a red one don't know if you can see they have all a glitter um, and I also forgot to say that the largest shadow in all of these palettes are named with the same name as the stone so in this case it's ruby um, so they have the color of ruby in this one pretty yes and the quality i don't know um, i think it might have been me and it's not bad at all but it this one didn't speak to me as much uh, on the ninth spot is emerald so the emerald color is this darker green shimmer and these are always shimmers with the bigger ones and here is the glitter it's a pretty color story but the look i did with this one turned out really murky and crunchy and in a way that i didn't like it it wasn't bad and the shadows is also good quality as always uh, it's just that it's not quite my color story, even though I like dark, grungy ones, but then I want them to be cool tones. I am not a warm toned most. I, I prefer cool tones. And where am I? Eight. Now, this is Aquamarine for March. And this, I really like the color story. Uh, this is the Aquamarine color, and here is the glitter. It's a glitter that turns out very orangey. I don't know if you can see. Can you see that? Sorry for <laughs> using the wrong finger. <laughs> uh, there. It's a bit orangey. <laughs> Sorry. Um, this one, even though I like blues and brown together, this one is too light and the darkest one is a shimmer I always want that one to be a matte and my daughter said to me why it doesn't matter uh, I was trying to explain that I don't like shimmers in the outer corner that the outer shadow should always be a matte to me and she just stared at me and wondered what was wrong with me <laughs> she didn't care about that so if you can consider using a shimmer in your outer corner, then it's fine. Yes, 12, 11, 10, 8. Number 7 is actually Amethyst. It's purple, I know who am I. Uh, really gorgeous color story. The Amethyst color is the darkest one and the glitter is there. It's a, uh, what could you say, rosé gold with purple specks in it, almost orangey goldy, something. And it's the same here, it's lacking a really dark matte. So if you can consider using this one, the darkest purple shimmer, it's not a shimmer, it's more like a satin. In the outer corner, well, then you're fine, but that doesn't speak to me. So I love the colors a lot. So you can always combine it with another one if you want to. But if you're going to use 
only this one. I think this is lacking a matte, dark matte. Number six is, now I'm dirty, <sighs> sorry, Peridot by uh, August. This is really, really pretty. And I have the last six, top six, I have a really hard time ranking. It's a really, really pretty color story. And it has a dark matte. There's the glitter and this is the Peridot color for uh, August. This to me is more of a summer color. Uh, and I, if you should compare this one, oh, hang on. Um, the other green one, can you see? It's darker and crunchier in this one. As I said to my daughter, this is when the leaves is starting to turn orange and red and yellow in the fall and this is later on when they're almost falling off <laughs> dark grungy late late fall autumn uh, and i like this a lot too but there are others that i like better especially since i am more of a cool toned one and this is really warm toned and then on the, where am I? Torv Elvatini, number eight <laughs> spot is the newest one, Turquoise for December. And it looks like this. Here is Turquoise. And this is the glitter. And I really, really love Turquoise and Brown a lot. Is, I think it's a gorgeous color combination, but I would have liked this one to be a really dark, cool toned brown. I did a look with this one recently. It's all, all the looks are up on my Insta. Um, and it turned out really good, but I again would have preferred a really dark, dark matte. Brown, cool toned matte. Um, yeah, but I like it a lot. And on the Torv Elvati, I can't re remember. Uh, Torv Elvati, number nine, sorry for counting in Swedish, is the Garnet by January. This is my birthstone. Um, and it looks like this. And this one, why this one ranked higher up than the ruby for july that looks like this they are very similar the month ruby in this one that color and that one are almost identical i don't know why they did that but this one has more oomph to it this is more me than this one so garnet for January and it has a really dark brown this should have been in the this one if you ask me together with the turquoise one and this is the breast glitter I did a black smoky eye with glitter when I used this one and um, blended it out with the red gorgeous and number nine, ten, ten <laughs> is a one that I think a lot of you didn't like. I heard a lot of reviews that this is the boring color story and that the shadows are so and so. The diamond for April. I don't agree. I love this color story. This is to me neutral. <laughs> you know what I mean I did a really glittery I used the glitter all over my lid and that one in my crease I think and that one on my brow bone to blend out that one with and the black on my lid I think or maybe that one with the glitter on top and that one in my inner corner really really pretty so number 11 
can you guess the citrine from November for November this is so so gorgeous even though I don't like brown but I love yellow yellow shadows are so so cool and together with browns there it's fabulous so this is citrine and here is the glitter and of course I could have wished for a darker one this isn't as dark as I would like it to be but still really really gorgeous I think everybody loved this one and on spot number 12 my favorite sapphire by for for September <sighs> This is me in a nutshell. Sapphire, it's a, again, a shim not shimmer, satiny, I would say, but and it has a black. No, I'm sorry, it's not black. It's a really dark green. I love it. And the glitter is a kind of a rainbow glitter. It's a pink base with, I see, purple, greens, pinks, oranges, orangey glitters in here. Now I know there's a lot of people that don't want glitters in their palettes. I can understand why, but I am not afraid at, at all of using glitters on my lids. I do it all the time and I have done that for years. I have never had problems. I don't even find it difficult to remove. <clears throat> I just take some <clears throat> makeup remover on a pad and swipe it away. No problems. Well, so this is my favorite I think there is a lot of favorites in there but this since I am a <clears throat> this color story speaks to me the most it's so so gorgeous yes so that was it hang on no they're, no, they're not the whole bunch not in the right order though. Uh, I've had a lot of fun with this and I'm thinking of doing some type of look using maybe not everyone I think that will be difficult as I said but maybe well, in some way I don't know how. Uh, so that was it. Uh, I hope you like it. It was maybe not the greatest ranking um, as I said, the quality is amazing for being so cheap. I think I bought these for like, they're around $9 or something like that. Eight, eight, nine dollars. Um, for that price, it's absolutely worth it. So, if you want to check out my looks, they are, you have to scroll back a whole year because they started in the beginning of the year and <laughs> been quite like once a month until December. Um, I will link my Insta account down below. Um, yeah, so that was it. Uh, I hope it helped you if you are thinking of buying some one of these. They are really, really good, I think. Uh, so, you have a nice day. Take care. Until I see you the next time. Bye-bye.